Hey fire signs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you your weekly message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys this week. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, guys, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Please find and close below um, all the timestamps for your individual signs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Aries, welcome to the channel. Let's get ready for your weekly message to see what is coming towards my Aries universe. Archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians, what is the message here for my Aries? Message for Aries, please. Oh, partnership and alliance. And patience and planning. Okay. All righty, Aries. You're getting ready to get yourself into some type of commitment, boo-boo. And you've been patient. You have been very patient. Okay. You have been patient waiting for the right person to come towards you. And finally, I feel that this person is here for you, Aries. Somebody that finally meets your expectations, I just heard. Somebody that meets the qualities that you've been looking for in a partner is coming towards you. You have the justice here. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with somebody who works in the legal field, possibly an officer, firefighter, um, a lawyer, a judge. But whatever, this person is coming in with some truth, some truth and clarity. I feel in the past that you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot in relationships. You always give your all into a relationship. You, When you get into a relationship with with somebody, somebody you always give your 100, okay? And there's been plenty of times where people here have been very deceptive. They've betrayed your honesty. They've walked away from you. And that's just left you in this Nine of Swords energy. But now, today, you've been very patient with yourself. You've been planning how to move out of those negative, troubled waters. And you started healing yourself. You started working on yourself. And now you find yourself in a real good place where you can open up to somebody new. Where you can open up and build a new relationship with someone. Why? Because today, look at Ten of Cups, baby. Oh, Because today, you know what you can what you will and will not accept in a relationship. And here it goes. Ten of Cups. Happiness, total abundance, wish being wishes being granted. I just I feel that someone literally has a fireplace like this at home and a kitty cat. But at the end of the day, you're going to find that partner that's going to balance you out on so many levels. And and you have been waiting for this person. You have been planning for this person. You have been praying, manifesting, meditating for this person. And you have finally called in your equal counterpart. With the devil in the reverse, you will look at devil in the reverse and the four of pentacles. You will not accept any toxicity in your life. You would not accept it. You have released all toxic situations, all toxic people. You have released so many people from your life and you will not allow anyone to bring in any toxicity to, to you today, okay? You have worked too freaking hard to be at where you're at today that you're not going to allow anyone from the past. You're not going to allow anyone to bring in any toxicity. You're letting all of that go. You're letting go of all toxic behaviors, letting go of all toxic people. What else, universe? What else do we have here for Aries? Look at the sun happiness abundance okay in the past you you went through a lot you did go through a lot okay you were possibly in in a, a part of your life where everything was just depressing for you like you would do something and it, you just didn't feel the energy anymore but today you're different i feel that for someone who i'm speaking for this person has really worked on, or speaking to this person has really worked on yourself a lot and it's not only in the emotional aspect, but I'm talking about in the physical, in the mental, obviously in the emotional. Like you guys have been working on yourself so hard. I keep on picturing somebody jogging. You may have met someone while you're jogging. I don't know why I had to say that, but you, 
it, it was destined to happen. Look, it, it was destined for you to meet this person, okay? As I'm talking about jogging, it was destined for you to meet your emperor, your empress, okay? When you were out and about, when you were jog and for some of you guys you may like where i live i live in illinois so lakeshore drive for us people jog up and down by the lake i feel that somebody was doing that jogging by the water obviously not here though <laughs> but um because right now we're like at one degree but anyway you you might have met somebody um while you were jogging working out but this was destined this ship was destined to come in for you okay and they came in out of nowhere with this tower moment like this is a good tower moment okay this person like boom just appeared out of nowhere is what i hear like you could have been jogging and dropped your phone or or dropped whatever was in your hand and this person was happening happened to be jogging the opposite way and you guys kind of like bumped into each other that's the way i see it okay that this person just came out of nowhere and this person is going to be your emperor or is your emperor or your empress okay it was just a spontaneous meet okay it just happened out of nowhere look at with the page of swords it, it just happened to ha happen there this is what I'm saying. Like, it was just like, it was destined to happen the way it did. Some of you guys have yet to meet this person, but you will. Um, this person is going to bring in love. They're going to bring in emotional fulfillment. This person is going to be a caring person. This person is coming. I just heard your, your Prince Charming, okay? Riding in on a horse type of thing, okay? It's what I'm like. Somebody, this person is going to come in out of nowhere out of nowhere because for such a while now you have been so freaking dedicated working on yourself building yourself up building your pentacles building your your financial security this is you've been stuck working 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 that that one day out of nowhere you decide to go jogging at an hour later an hour earlier and you end up meeting your prince charming or your princess three of cups celebration baby you may even meet this person at a party okay there's a lot of fluids here water okay you may meet this person at a party somebody may be celebrating an engagement or the birth of a new baby or a wedding whatever it is but you're going to be meeting somebody and there's going to be a lot to celebrate here why because you have been patient with yourself because you have been working on yourself this king of cups is coming in here to give you the love that you've always wanted to give you the the relationship that you've always wanted you have been very patient with the process okay you understood that before you would jump into another relationship you had to love one person and one person only and that's you and once you learn how to do that once you learn how to take care of yourself once you learn how to balance yourself out this person came out of nowhere because for a while you were isolated okay you had to go within you had to take care of yourself i'm sorry about the glare guys you had to take care of yourself you had to rest and rejuvenate and boom now your guys's path is gonna cross okay there is someone that's getting ready to come into your life or someone that's already in your life but this relationship was divinely guided it was meant to happen the way it happens okay all right guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell and if anyone would like to book a personal reading the information is in the description box below we'll talk soon bye leo welcome back to the channel let's see here let's see what is going on with you guys what is your weekly message to see what energies are surrounding you what's going to be going on for you this week Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the energy for my Leos here? What is going on with my Leos? Transformation. Damn, Leo, you are transforming here. What else, Universe? Harmony. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, there's something that's getting ready to change for you, Leo. You may have been going through a rough patch in your life where you've been dealing with a lot of things, a lot of scenarios, possibly financially, emotionally, maybe even physically, but things are starting to change. Things are starting to change and you're getting ready to get into this harmon this harmonious place where things are finally going to fall into place. Things are going to start working out for you and and it's just going to be so how can I put it like um so relieving like you you've been just waiting for the moment where everything just finally calmed down okay there's a transformation here either you're working on yourself transforming yourself physically but there's definitely a total change that's coming about within you and that's going to bring in a lot of harmony a lot of success a lot of happiness here for you may even be bringing in a beautiful new relationship where you're going to find yourself in a good place with this person balanced and, and harmonious 
But let's see here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is it? Look at the Seven of Pentacles here. You got it in the reverse. Yeah, I feel that in the past you may have been going... Yeah, some of you guys may have gotten a divorce here. Look at Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Some of you guys may have gotten a divorce here or possibly separated from somebody where there was no more growth. Okay. Why I say divorce? Because the Empress is a wife. Okay. Somebody could have been married here. And you and your person seen that there was no more growth in this connection. So you guys made the decision to legally separate and or divorce. Okay. Because the, the, the fizzle was gone from the connection. The growth was gone from the connection. And you just decided that it was time to move on. There was nothing else to celebrate here. There was nothing else to look forward to. On the contrary, I feel that both you and your person at times would end up going out just with your friends, not together. Okay. There could have been some activity of a third-party situation here. Um, but overall, I just feel that there was an ending that had to occur, and it did occur. And this is what transformed your life to be in the place that you're at today. What else universe here for Leo? Do you want to come out or you want to stay there? Look at Seven of Cups, okay? So there's no more confusion here. You know that, the, that this separation needed to happen because it was time for you to balance things out in your life. Okay, it was time for you to bring in harmony, bring in success, bring in balance, and you were being very patient with this process. Okay, with the four of cups, of course, you think about your past person all the time, you think of the what ifs. What if it would have worked out? What if we would have given it a fair chance? But at the end of the day, you do understand that this connection wasn't going to go anymore, anywhere anymore because it was already, it already had ran its course. What else, universe? But there is a new relationship coming in, baby. Ace of Cups. There is somebody that's coming in here that's going to offer you a new cup of love, Leo. Somebody's going to... Oh, look it. Nine of Wands. Universe is telling you, do not give up on love. Some of you guys are giving up on love. Don't give up on love because there is a relationship that's coming towards you, okay? You may be a little bit guarded because of the past situation, but you're being asked to put that guard down, okay? Give this relationship the opportunity that it deserves. Someone's keeping an eye on you, okay? So this may be somebody that you know, somebody that you have dealt with before. Someone that you may have not even had a relationship with, but this person is coming in to offer you some type of relationship. This person could be your soulmate, okay? Expect to receive a text message from this person, okay? And don't cut them down right away, okay? Because there's big possibilities in this connection with the King of Swords here, okay? So there is a possibility for growth in this connection. I just feel, Leo, because you've really never seen this person as a love interest or this could be a whole new person and you're not accustomed to dealing with people that may act or look like this person. Don't just cut it down, okay? Allow it an opportunity to come through. Allow an opportunity to get to know this person because this relationship can definitely lead to a a beautiful beginning in love here. What else in the universe? There's going to be a lot of passion here. There's going to be a new beginning and passion between you and this new person. Queen of Swords. This person is going to come in here with truth and clarity. This person does not have a reason to lie to you or hold anything back from you. I just feel you, Leo, because you've been jaded in the past and you've gone through a lot that you may not want to give this opportunity to look at, as I said, jaded. And you've gone through a lot of toxicity in the past. You don't want to give this relationship a chance. But you're being asked to. Just give this person the opportunity to express or show you what type of relationship they can be in, okay? But you're still stuck in your head, I feel, from the past situation, from the relationship that you were in. You feel like everybody's going to be the same as that past person. But don't bring in that negativity. It's time for you to rest. It's time for you to rejuvenate. It's time for you to take that leap of faith, okay? It's time for you to move on from the past and let it go because it is what it is already. Become unstuck from that, okay? It's time for you to start seeing things clearly now so you can move forward into a new relationship. Some of you guys just have to let go of the past trauma, okay? But there is somebody that's going to come in here. Someone that's going to make your love offer. And I feel for some of you guys, you may not accept it because you're so used to this Knight of Wands energy. This person in the past that was very in and out, non-committal energy. And I don't know, some of you guys just don't want to deal with anyone right now. If you choose not to get into a connection, then hey, it is what it is. That's your choice. But at the end of the day, I feel that if you allow this person the opportunity to show you who they really are and what they're about, you can have a real strong connection with this person. Okay? All right, Leo, I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly and I'm here to give you your weekly message. We're going to tap into this energy and see what's coming towards you guys this week. But before we get started, as you know, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you're a current subscriber, guys, I want to thank you for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So let's go ahead and get started here with your messages. Let's see, what is the overall message here for Sagittarius Universe? Harmony. Who just got that? Leo. Leo got Harmony. What else, Universe? Trapped in fear. Okay. And what's in the bottom of the deck? Light. All right, guys. Okay, so honestly, my beautiful Sagittarius, I feel that you guys are going through something right now. And all you're really trying to do is achieve that harmony, achieve that light at the end of the tunnel. One, some of you guys are really stuck in your head about a situation, a situation that you may have had to walk away from or you may be contemplating to walk away from. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel, guys. Look at this. I just literally realized. You see how this is illuminated? Look at the light right there. There is hope. Okay, there is harmony coming towards you. There is going to be something that's going to pull you out of this negative energy. It may be something or someone. Okay, so let's get started here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are the messages here for Sagittarius? Messages. What is going on with Sagittarius? Um, some of you guys are. Some of you guys are coming. Some of you guys are currently in separation from somebody or making a decision to separate from your, your partner, the person that you are in a higher level commitment. You may be even married to this person. You guys are making this decision and it's going to be a rather fast decision to, to disconnect from a situation that has you trapped. Some of you guys may be trapped in fear because this person can be abusive if that's the case and you guys need any help. You need to reach out as soon as, soon as possible. I just had to say that for some of you guys. But overall, I feel that someone is trying to disconnect from a marriage, a loveless marriage, I just heard, that don't that no longer serves them. And you're scared because you've been with this person for such a long time. This person is toxic. The person you're dealing with is very toxic. You've been with them for such a long time, and this person keeps you mentally trapped. Some of you guys may have met somebody, somebody new and now you're kind of in the situation where you want to disconnect from this this person that you are in a higher level commitment to go towards this new person you want to release this toxicity you want to release this headache you want to release these problems and i feel that some of you guys are going to do it really fast really really fast like it's going to come out of nowhere where you decide to you know what i'm out of here you're going to take a little bit of your stuff i'm like i'll be back for my shit later wow some of you guys are in this place where emotionally this person has you drained, drained, okay? They, you feel like they, they have you abandoned. They leave you out in the cold. Like this person has no emotional um, stability with you. I just feel that whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you're getting ready to separate from is such an emotional manipulator. Like this person is cold they don't even have a heart is what i'm getting and with the knight of cups here you are you're removing your love from this situation some of you guys are really making the decision to walk away from this person to walk away from this person because you no longer have love for them like you you you're abandoned you feel isolated you feel left alone and and you don't want to deal with this but finally i feel that some of you guys met somebody here and this is how you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel this person brings you hope. They bring you happiness. They bring you harmony, balance. What else, universe? Emperor. Some of you guys may be headed to the courthouse to get a formal separation here. A legal separation here and a divorce. Okay. Some of you guys have made the decision to file for divorce. And you're moving on to look at you're releasing the heartache. You're releasing this past person that may have put you in several, when I mean several third-party situations, you're leaving that behind already. Why? Because you're moving towards stability, towards happiness, towards contentment here with this new person. Page of Cups, this past person, the person that you're, you're, you were in a higher level commitment, I told you, is an emotional manipulator. They're a freaking lunatic is what I'm hearing. But this new person that you met, it may have been, it may be somebody that you've known from your childhood, someone that you may even have met at work, went to school with, 
college but this person just popped out of nowhere and you and this person started reconnecting and it just felt like the good old times. It felt like you you were right back at home where you needed to be at. You were in the right set of arms. This is why you guys are leaving this past relationship because your soulmate has actually returned back to you, okay? And you're walking away from this, this connection where you feel trapped and isolated, okay? With the four of cups here, you can't stop thinking about this past person, your, the, your soulmate. You, you see, you picture yourself having a future with them. You think about the past, how you and, and this person made a lot of plans when you guys were younger about getting married and having a family. Like you're finally realizing that all those dreams that you and this person had in the past are going to get ready and start coming true for you guys. What else? Is yeah, guys, you're heading to divorce court. <laughs> This is crazy. Not that I'm not that it's funny. I'm sorry. I don't mean that it's funny. But some of you guys are definitely gonna be heading to divorce court here. Some of you guys are gonna file for divorce immediately the second you walk away from from this past person. Shit. Some of you already filed and as you're walking around walking out of the house, they're being served with divorce papers. I just literally seen that image. Not funny. It is not funny. I apologize. But Hey, you should have learned how to treat my, my Sagittarius because uh, they wouldn't have been doing this shit to you if you would have treated them right. You're cutting this person out like nobody's business. I feel that when you walk away, this person is going to be so disrespectful. They're going to call you all sorts of names, but you don't let that get to you. You don't let that shit get to you. You walk away and you walk away with your head held up high because you tried your freaking hardest to make this connection work. It was this emotional manipulator that couldn't make the connection work. This is why it ended because they wanted to put you in third party situations. This is why you decided to emotionally disconnect from them. Okay. It was their fault. It was not your fault. Okay. You tried your hardest and you tried to make this connection work. But now your soulmate is back and your happiness is here and you got to walk the fuck away from this bullshit. Look at temperance, balance, harmony, patience. You've been very patient with this person. I don't know why I had to say that, but you've been very patient with the return of your, of your soulmate. Like, you always knew this person was going to come back. You just never knew when they were going to come back. But they're here already. They're here. And this, they, this person and you have been communicating via text message throughout the years. But now it blew up. Now it's a big thing. Okay? Now you guys are literally talking on a daily basis, of course. Or even um, having crazy passionate sex. I don't know. But there's a lot of passion between you and this person. Look at this decision that you're about to make is going to be a tower moment, but a good one. I feel that it's going to be a good one because you're going to be able to release all this toxicity from the past, all these lies, all this non-committal energy. This person that doesn't like putting the work in the connection, you've made a decision to cut this shit out and walk away from it because you have the opportunity to have a new beginning here with somebody who you are truly, truly, honestly in love with. Okay. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.